No. 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 This will not do at all. We need to call in the Prime for this one. And possibly a few friends. Justice League? Really? I mean, it was a bit... Yeah, I suppose if he's doing them in order. Okay. I'll grab Brian and fire at my receiver. So that's Captain Redbeard, Captain Calvin Cat, Lady Red Sinclair, and this lovable Boz fellow. No. Where is the man himself? Then we are in agreement. Well, as long as you're comfortable with this. I am. Right, well, I'll see about... Who's this now? Ursa! Hello, stranger! Funky? Where the ever-loving frack have you been for the last eight weeks? Eh, you know, playing DC Universe Online and uh, manning the camera for my good friend Mr. Fellow Monkey, who may or may not actually be an alternate universe version of me. I'll lose track. Yeah, you lose track. Anyways, it's been an age. What brings you to me phone? Oh, I just called up to talk about your finale. Way ahead of you. I've agreed to be the prime for this one, which means that I get the chair. I've uh, considered asking me old mate Boz to pitch in again, and I might cast out to see if anyone else is interested. Oh, I've, I've already contacted your Boz and Captain Calvin Cat and Lady Red Sinclair. And uh, Captain Redbeard should be calling back with his coordinates within the hour, but... Funky, weren't you gone? Like, gone gone? Like, mutant thorn gone? Mutant thorn? I mean, if you're talking about those out of character rants about Wolverine, what I did, I'm gonna have myself checked out for it, but. Well, anyway, it was a shame about Chan Lawson. I've just heard this past couple of weeks. Well, yeah, for the video makers, sure. Oh, that is Captain Redbeard now. Right, oh, you see to that then. I'll see you in a few. Ahoy, Master Funky Monkey! Are you at last, phone Nancy Gum? Sorry, Cap'n. Still going straight to voicemail. But anyway, are you up for doing something not so pirate related? Yar! Tis an ask to bring a year for a pirate free review. Well, maybe, maybe. But variety is the spice of life. And anyway, there's at least one character who might be to your liking. Oi. Arian. Lead on, Master Funky Monkey! Greetings, hero fans! I'm Funky Monkey, and I remain fellow monkey, chronicler of legend. And I'm Thursa Mercer. And I'm Boz. Note ye well, shipmates. There be two captains here, and I be Captain Potamus Redbeard. And uh, this is uh, Captain Calvin Katz, commandant of the USS Dragonfly. Schatz, was machst du da schon wie? Oh, are you in the realms of the internet again? Uh, yeah, Schatz, I am. Um, might I introduce you to those guys and this girl? Uh, you know, Funky Monkey, that's uh, Sir Mercer, a fellow NCS fan. And those two are, uh, I think, a pirate and another Funky Monkey. Schatz, uh, so do I see double now? Pleased to meet you all. I'm Lady Red Agatha Silverbird Sinclair, first officer aboard the defunct Dragonfly, and therefore I have to deal with this and my captain on a daily basis. Uh, yeah. Anyway, welcome to my house of love. And welcome to the last in this marathon of distinguished champions. Yes, we've come to it at last. The day when the heroes of Earth banded together to fight the foe that no single one of them could withstand alone. The great adventure that fulfills the promise of magnificent heroism, the likes of which we've never seen before. 
At least, that's the theory. But we won't go into that. What we will go into is our long-awaited subject, Justice League. Well, hang on. Who's to read off the intro? Oh, right. Well, seeing as she's been longest since, we'll give this particular honour to Miss Ursa. All right, then. Released in 2017, Justice League continues the tale of the fledgling unnumbered Earth. Following the death of Superman and the theft of three powerful items, it falls to Batman and Wonder Woman to put together a team to stop a powerful evil from transforming the world into an utter nightmare. Famously receiving a 40% Rotten Tomatoes critic score, audiences were somewhat kinder, scoring at 73%. So then, it comes to this, the better part of a decade. Empires have risen and fallen, careers have been made and broken. So let's close out this season, and this DC marathon, in grand style, and good company, as we watch the first uniting of... The Justice League! Superman is dead, and Batman is on the hunt. What are you doing? But the crook is only the bait. This creature, it is a parademon of apocalypse, dark realm of the fourth world. The parademons are the foot soldiers of this army, and they feed upon fear. There's quite the commotion at the Old Bailey. But Wonder Woman's having none of it. Yes, you go girl. Holy fear can get the bashing it so richly deserves. And so he follows the bat as he tries to convince Aquaman to join the League. Yeah, which goes about as so well as you'd expect. So, I never got that concept. When you say something goes about as well as you'd expect... Tis usually an ill omen. Dread titans. Arbinger, a general, not good type stuff. Our next candidate, however, might be more receptive. Ah, but young Barry Allen is in great need yet, for he knows a greater truth, the truth of who really committed the murder of his mother. And he shall need to form alliances, that he may prove the innocence of his father. Yet another fridged woman. Wow, thanks, Zack Snyder. Hacky cliché. But it's no life being a cyborg. Just ask Seven of Nine. Or oh, Steve Austin. The wrestler? The bionic man. Ah. And don't you just hate it when visitors descend on you uninvited? It's worse when they steal a priceless artifact. Steppenwolf, commander of the armies of Apocalypse that attempted the conquest of... Of course Earth. he is. After all, he's uh, <clears throat> born to be wild. Greatly amusing, Master Kelvin. Call me Kel. Now, as I was saying, the armies of Apocalypse that attempted the conquest of Earth once before, millennia ago. Of course, at that time, they were beaten back by an alliance of man, Atlantean, and Amazon. Who will stand against them now? And can we talk about the magic uterus armor? They didn't have that in Wonder Woman. Well, Snyder's a shameless hack. Enough said. Well, at least someone still knows what a burning arrow to the shrine means. Walking funny for a week? <laughs> that was terrible. I like it. Hey, thank you. I'm here every Wednesday. Try the butterfly chicken and tip your servers. And suddenly I understand Meredith. McKay? Oh yeah, Rodney. But oh dear. You know, I could have told him that having cameras in the Batcave would be a bad idea. Ah, Master Funky Monkey, is it not the case that Bruce Wayne is greatly headstrong? I wager that he would scant listen to concerns when his mind is made up. Hmm, hmm, so I've heard. Terrible, really. But if it keeps him going, it can't be that bad. It is at this time that Diana of Themyscira imparts the history of the Mother Boxes unto Bruce Wayne. 
yet they are not alone. And after all that, we meet Barry Allen. I'm in. You are? This is the scene where Barry is confused by brunch. Though, honestly speaking, I've been confused by brunch before. It's certainly an odd concept. It's not quite breakfast, it's not quite lunch. But it's a good substitute for both when you get up really late and you just can't face the lunchtime news. You get up late that often? I used to. Semi-regularly in my late adolescence. Not so much these days, though. And so Wonder Woman attempts to recruit Cyborg, which goes about as well as you'd expect. <laughs> now I did read Recircuit Cyborg. <laughs> Yar! Wet powder! Gotta side with Captain Redbeard on this one. Not your best work. But Vushin's be no shelter, and Aquaman squares off against Steppenwolf. And no good deed goes unpunished. At least there are squid babies in this one. Squid babies? Try Wizard Tournament. One challenge was underwater. Oh, Goblet of Fire! Love that book. And you'd never guess that the end of the world would begin in Russia. But before that, a mass kidnapping leads our heroes underground. And to battle. And who else but Batman could bring a tank to a sword fight? Which comes with its own problems. And here I thought Batman didn't like guns? Snyder again. Rule of cool can only stretch disbelief so far. Yeah, in a world of Amazons, aliens and speed force, a billionaire orphan to gun violence building a tank which fires missiles is the unbelievable bit. Um, Magister the Funk, have you switched the DVDs and are showing us the new Transformers instead? Bayformers? On my show? Patrons be warned, it'll cost you a ten dollar a month subscription. But war there be water, there be an Aquaman. And he be the saviour of them thar land heroes. And Cyborg retrieves the third mother box, whose powers inspire a rather grisly idea in Bruce Wayne. Yes, my friends. With the power of the Mother Box, they intend to resurrect Superman himself. A bold plan, and a high chance of success. High chance? High chance of success? Dude, come on. You know that it's not going to be that easy. And so our heroes enter the chamber. But the batteries are drained after Doomsday, so the Flash must provide the spark. Witness then the resurrection of Superman. And the moment when it all goes south. Our heroes fight valiantly. But there's only one thing that soothes the savage super beast. And while our heroes are distracted, Steppenwolf snatches the last mother box. Then fortunate indeed we are that Superman remains irrevocably human. But there is still a world in need of saving. And so our heroes suit up and head out. Oh yeah, big explosive finale time. Prepare to squee and possibly put your fingers in your ears. Batman tries to draw off the parademons. Which goes about as well as you'd expect. But the others need him alive. Oh, Batman, you really are crazy. Cyborg tries to separate the unified mother boxes. Yet even the combined might of Amazon and Atlantean are no match for a child of Apocalypse. But I know a Superman who might be. Superman clears a path for the Flash to save a family. Oh man, Kryptonians. Don't remind me, but I'd be more than glad to play pretend that I'd be the king of Atlantis with you as my queen at my side. Mwah. Well, my hair color is very mirror-like, so I could cosplay her. But you don't look like Arthur Curry. That are details. God is in details. And I thought he had a plan. 
and the Man of Steel steps in to put this madness to an end. Which only leaves Steppenwolf, who gets a taste of his own medicine. And so our movie ends with the return of Clark Kent, a happy beginning for Barry Allen, and the plans for a brand new house with a great big table. So that was Justice League. Opinions then. Fellow monkey, I deem this legend worthy of remembrance. I were right, and you were right about one thing. Aquaman were a right blast. Anyone else? No, I'm a. I'm a let you guys take this one. I really, 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 really don't get why this movie is hated that much. I heard that it would make no sense, would not stand on very solid footings. Heard that Steppenwolf would not be a big enough villain, and while I concur with Steppenwolf, I have to say that I still like that movie. I could even go that far and say, from all the DCEU flicks, Wonder Woman gets an A+, and Justice League gets a B-. Why that? Well, while one of these flick is just on the brink of being a perfect masterpiece, at least in the context of the DCEU, should Justice League has its moments in which it fails spectacularly, Steppenwolf as a character is a good example of that. The parademon thing and the helpless Russian family near a nuclear reactor are things that make me cringe a little bit. But we have some things that weren't a factor in Men of Steel and Batman v Superman. Fun. And I mean fun. With a capital F. It has genuinely funny moments. Batman's, yeah, something's definitely hurting after he got tossed away by Angry Clark. Aquaman accidentally in the lesser of truth. Although I have seen that joke in the animated Wonder Woman movie of 2009. But nevertheless, they did good, light-hearted jokes and moments in the Wonder Woman movie with Gal Gadot and of course in this one. So yeah, to me all this fun and camaraderie made the Justice League into one of the best movies the DCEU can offer. It is a good movie, although I have to say that the resurrection of Soups was a bit on the hasty side. See, Soups was killed off in BBS by Doomsday and personally I would have liked it if the Kryptonians' resurrection would have been more on the glorious side. They should have filmed the movie equivalent of Funeral for a Friend and The Reign of the Superman before they did a Justice League movie. But that would have meant that they could not have filmed their DC equivalent of The Avengers. Oh, that's true. Any more thoughts on it, Gethy chan Brunch? The spread? The scene in which Barry is confused by the concept. Funky pointed that out. Flash, to me, is the whole movie in a nutshell. Funny, sometimes incompetent, but if he is needed, he delivers. So let's get it out of the way. Zack Snyder was a terrible choice to helm any of these movies. His whole approach was wrong. In my opinion, the DC Universe needs to be a place of light, of hope, of forward-facing humanism, empathy, humanity. Even in Gotham, especially in Gotham, where for so long, the hopes and dreams of the people were crushed by crime and poverty. And of course, the ropey demustaching of Henry Cavill mars what is supposed to be such a riotously joyful moment. Superman is here! Evil is screwed! The Justice League comes together and beats down the villain, and it should be glorious! But yeah, this is the big first outing for the Cinematic League, and actually, it's not all that bad, and I do it no disservice in comparing it to the Avengers, because Loki is a better, more complex villain with his bag of cats plotting and malevolent charm, and the podunk town in Russia, where barely anyone lives, is undoubtedly a smaller canvas than New York, but the stakes are no lower, and the conquest of Earth remains the villain's goal. But let's get to the performances. The effortless cool of Jason Momoa, the gleeful fanboying of Ezra Miller, Gal Gadot's ever-expressive turn, Ben Affleck's crazy but awesome Batman, so much more human in the wake of the previous film, and how can we forget Jeremy Irons' deadpan Alfred, another gem in this star-studded goblet of goodness. But what of the villain? Charon Hines does his best with a frankly wastefully slight presence, almost ephemeral and single-minded, Yes, he does seem to be there just to show off how powerful Superman is, and the design is, to my eyes at least, rather uninspired. 
just a random ugly alien with a stupid helmet. But it doesn't impact the flow of the movie, which glides from scene to scene, bringing these disparate souls with godlike abilities, destinies, or just the godlike determination of the Batman, into Earth's mightiest heroes. And yes, it was an incredible risk to kill off Superman in Dawn of Justice, and then resurrect him here, but it pays off, even with the bad CG. It's brilliant to see Superman return, to see him fly, to see the Whedon-esque banter between Clark and Barry in the mid-credits. But wherever the movie shines, it just reflects how it was such a bad idea to hire Snyder in the first place. He wasn't hope. He wasn't joy. The people who enjoy darkness and madness, well, they are darkness and madness. And playing to them is a fool's game, which won't get butts in seats. No, there's only one method for the DC Universe, and that method is to embrace hope, look to the skies, because it isn't a bird or a plane, it's Superman up there. And so, for all its faults, I'm going to put Justice League into my house of love. And with this declaration, I direct you to that greatest of sights, the subscription button, and its tenacious teammate, the notification bell icon. I remain your courageous co-host, fellow monkey, chronicler of legend. And I bid you one and all, good day. Yarr, I be Captain Pot, Mr. Redbeard, and if in ye've the blooms to spare, send them the master, funky monkey's patriot. Fair winds, shipmates. And these are my friends. Sir Samarsa, stuff you like. Find me on YouTube. Bars of Boz Radio, playing the best music from the 60s onwards. Tune in anytime and visit the website. Links below. Hey Funky, is any amount of pasta really the right amount for you? Uh, Captain Kevin Cat. And Lady Red Sinclair. We're not really reviewers. But it's nice to be included. I live long it's and prosper. prosper. So for all my co-hosts, I've been Funky Monkey, and if this is the last house of love of them all, thank you for watching, and there's plenty more at my channel. But either way, I wish you good days, great entertainment, and a better world. So long, folks!